Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video on RoboCell. Today we're going to go through the main uh, functions in RoboCell and basically how to start recording positions and moving through for the first assignment and from here then you should be able to kind of figure out the rest on your own. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at our screen here and we have a couple of things. We want to make sure one that we're in the Pro Edition and in the Pro Edition it just gives us more commands. So if we look at Access Control we can see that we can type in things like OG and CG. These letters are what we can type in on the actual keyboard to get the robot to either do what we want or set up what we want to do. And if we go click the close on that, we have program flow. In here, you can see you can program in weights, remarks, which we'll be using often, um, if uh, jumps, labels, and pretty much any here, it also have subroutines and send messages. So all of that's in here. So if you don't know how to do something, these are the places to look. And we go to inputs and outputs. You can see if inputs turn out, turn on output number or off output number and waiting for digital, anything else here. So these are all in our commands. If you go to project, you can see here that, well, there's nothing because we don't have an open project. So in all of our commands, if you don't know how to do it, check through these. <clears throat> And then we have manual movements down on the bottom. So you can move the joints of the robot or you can move it in X, Y, Z fashion. Uh, we'll take a look at both of those, the speed at which it's moving. Then we also have uh, teaching positions here and you can go position number if we hit expand. Now notice that we have, we can plug in actual X, Y, Z um, locations. We can change the pitch of the robotic arm and the roll angle of it. Uh, we can get positions, clear, teach, like I said before. We could move to a point directly or in um, through a selected position. And then this is also via position right here. Opening gripper, closing gripper uh, are within the program blocks, moving like we just saw. And then we have the if conditions, setting variables, running subroutines, and more and more stuff. So all of that's there. And we can keep that like that that's fine and now remember if we want to bring in our ER4U robot you're gonna to go to file import 3d model now mine's on my desktop so I should be able to find it easily there we go there's my pick and place this is for our first setup I'm gonna hit open now it brings in this I'm gonna to go to my window simulation and teach so now everything's here workspace down on the bottom there's my commands teaching positions, manual movement, and everything else. So for our first one, it tells us that it wants to basically pick up this, uh, this is our home position. It wants us to go to position one, which is over the cube, pick it up, which is position 11. So as you go up in heights, we call it, we basically like, it's almost like stories of a building. So you have like first floor, second floor. So the position X, Y, would be one, and then if we move up a level, that'd be 11. If we moved up another level, it'd be 21, 31, so on and so forth. So you're changing height, it's like the first digit and second digit is your position X, Y. So it wants us to go from position one to 11, bring it back a little bit closer to 12, and then back down to two. And that's basically what we're gonna be doing. Um, couple of things. So if we are over here, I could type in RE and notice it comes up with remark. So we could say uh, pick and place. I'm going to do this all caps. Hit OK. And then I can go RE, brings it back up. Oops. RE. Like that. And that's pretty much how we're setting it up. I think in the actual assignment, I put in the period and the date that you can also put in well, but you do the same thing, you type in RE. Now what we're gonna do is go to teach certain positions. So they tell us, or we look at the assignment, that position 99, this home position right here, we're gonna teach the robot. So I'm gonna just drag this up. So position number 99, and then if we hover over here, record position. So it's gonna record where the robot actually is, record. So there's that one. If we didn't like that, we could delete that position. Now you hit from the drop down. I see you have 99. All right, now I wanna to get to this cube 
So I'm going to open my gripper. So let's go over to here. Actually, sorry, down on the bottom, manual movement. Open the gripper. And you can see now the gripper is open. I want it to send the robot to the object. So I'm going to click this, click on it, and notice now that the robotic arm is over it. I'm going to then say record that position. So I'm going to go in. That is my position one, and I'm going to record it. Now it wants us to move up a certain amount. It doesn't say how much, it just says move up. So I can go here, uh, manual movement, and I can go up the Z axis there, or, and let's see, we don't have it there. Let's go here. So I'm gonna click this. Notice how it moves it straight up. There we go. I'm gonna hit, that is position 11, record. Then I want to move it back towards the robot. So let's see, it should be the Y. Bring it back. Oh, that's forward. Oh, that's back the other way. All right, so our X is going closer to the robot. No big deal. So let's go back. Right there. That sounds good. I'm going to record that as position 12. Record. And then I'm going to go back down to the table. So I can do that, the Z, all the way down. It might collide with the table, or say a limit was hit. So the motion's too great. So let's go up a little bit. Doesn't say exactly how much. That is position two, record. So if we look in our drop down now, I have one, 11 is right above one. 12 is coming back towards the robot, two back down, 99 is our home position. From here, I have all the positions needed. Then I'm gonna go into here and we can reset this cell. So if I click this up on top, resets it. There we go. So the cell's reset. So now I wanna program this robotic arm to do something. So it's there. First thing I'm going to have it do is open gripper. So I'm going to come over here to the program and hit open gripper. Window, simulation teach, just bring everything back. They were lost behind there. Then we're going to have it go to what position? We want it to go to one. And I'm going to let you guys figure out how you want to use these or not. I'm going to do it on regular speed. Hit OK. It goes to position one. Once it's there, I want to close gripper. Then it's gonna be go to position 11. Okay. Go to position 12. And then it's gonna be go to position two. Okay. Open gripper. And then I'm gonna have it go back to position 99, which is the home, and I can have it do that fast. That is my basic program. Now we can try to execute that program. So I can come over to here. All right, so we have save camera position, show object names, show object positions. Up on top, run single line, run single cycle, or run continuously. So let's click on the top. Let's just run through the single cycle. It actually doesn't really matter for this. Click, notice how it goes. Back, down, open gripper, and back up. There you have it. That's the pick and place. Now, for the submission, you may actually have to show trails. So I'm going to bring it back up to the top. And we go over here, and we have clear robot path, show robot path. I'm going to click that. And now, let's run it again. Actually, I can reset the, the screen. Make it start back where it was. And you'll see this pink dot on the end. It's going to show the path, so that's there. Let's run the single cycle. Now 
and drop, and there we go. That's how you basically use this, and those are the basic functions of this program. There are a lot more, and it's going to be up to you to kind of figure them out as we go along. Uh, if there's something really weird going through, I'll post a little video up on it, but you should be able to use this and the commands and programming we've done in the past to kind of get this uh, robotic arm to do uh, quite a bit of stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Bye.